This segment is on Julian Assange's childhood photos. One thing I'd like you to note is that he is never pictured with Christine Assange or John Shipton. This photo, Christine Assange, who is pretending to be Julian's mom, she was actually an auntie in the family cult and hasn't been seen in public in 10 years, but she had a couple of Twitter accounts with 60,000 followers each, and she dumped them both, first one and then the other. But that Twitter account, many of the supporters said it wasn't even hers, uh, but that account said that this was Julian. There's no way to prove that. Here's Christine Assange saying that baby is Julian, but it isn't. The next photo coming up will show you a photo of Julian with the same baby boy. Murdoch put that article out. Murdoch is CIA. Here's Julian with that same baby boy that Christine Assange said was hers. So they, they lied. And Murdoch lied. That's who they work for. Another photo of Julian Assange with the baby boy that Christine Assange said was Julian. Here's Christine Assange holding up a little picture of a boy, and we're going to get a close-up on that now. Still, there's no way to prove that's boy Julian, and again, in not a single childhood photo of Julian will you ever see an adult. No baby photos, no childhood photos of Assange are ever um, taken with an adult. There's another picture that Christine's holding up saying is Julian. The same photo. Another photo of Christine Assange is holding up saying is Julian. Christine Assange said she drew that of baby Julian. Another photo of Julian by himself. That one, hmm, it could be him. Not really sure, but it could be. See, that's one of the Twitter accounts Assange misses that they put out saying that that was a baby picture of Julian. You can also see she blocked me. Another picture, Christine holding up a, a boy in a photo. And that's the boy. Still no way to tell for sure that that's Julian. The photo, the little circle, red circle on the right, they say that's Assange. No way to tell. He said he went to 37 different schools, but actually it was just a cover-up for the Gifted Child Program and the CIA's family cult. And that's why there's no accountability, and you really can't prove that's a sunch. Uh, middle row on the left, they say that's Julian, the, the boy on the left in the middle with the dark shirt. The middle row, the guy in the red uh, plaid shirt, they say that's Julian. I'll show you a close-up right there. They say that's Julian. That's 60 Minutes, but 60 Minutes is the same uh, Murdoch outlet that put out the fake pregnancy photo of Stella that we proved beyond all doubt uh, that was fake. Stella was not pregnant with the Sanchez baby. Now maybe that little boy is this boy. That's Daniel Assange, they say, but there's 
even there's no evidence he even exists. John Shipton, who we know is Assange's fake dad, who got ownership of the WikiLeaks domains from CIA chief Nicholas Natasios, and who was not with Assange's whole childhood, and who there's no photo who exists with them. As a matter of fact, uh, witnesses in the hearing said that Shipton never made eye contact with Assange, but maybe that little boy that we're seeing is this little boy, because they, they certainly do look alike. This they say is Julian Assange. This one? Yeah, maybe it could be him. That they say is Assange. Maybe it could be him. Again, never will you find an adult in any of these pictures. That could be Assange. And so the one before, it does resemble this one here that's, you know, they say was in the family cult. It could be Assange. That one I'm not so sure about, but it's publicized that it is. I'm not 100% sure that's Assange. This one looks like Assange, and that is the family cult. That came from a current affair, as you can see. That's Assange. Assange. That's Julian. That's Julian. Julian, and again, the little boy that Christina Assange said was Julian, but obviously it they lied, you know, because Julian's in that picture with the same little boy. The same. The same. So this is Assange. This, they say he was a teenager. Now, this was in 1998 in San Francisco. Assange was supposedly busted by the CIA in 1993, but then just a few years later, here he is in the United States in U.S. Army duds In San Francisco, you can see the San Francisco Bay Bridge behind him. Assange in the United States in 1998. This was on his Interpol red notice. This is a picture, one of those fake Christine Anna Assange Twitter accounts put out of him. Definitely looks like him. But it, it definitely looks cultish to me. This is from that Cupid, um, you know, love solicitation. That's a sign here. Okay, Cupid. That looks like a sign. And of course, this is how we start to remember him. And this one, he was already supposedly working with WikiLeaks at this time in this photo.
and the same here. I think that one must, I think that one was in Iceland. Now this is the very first photo you'll see of Julian Assange with Christine Assange. There is no earlier photo of them together. And here's a photo of him. Oh, God only knows when that one was taken, right? Because he's, he's older, but he's free. The same here. Older and free. Same here. Older and free. So we'll end this segment with a montage that somebody else made up. What you'll notice is that they stopped taking photos of Assange a few years ago, and all the drawings that are coming out of him are all pretty awful. They're just trying to make him look so awful. I think I know why. Because when he is, you know, as long as he was CIA. And they wanted their whist WikiLeaks whistleblower trap, you know, to be set. Um, they try to attract all the audience to him, right? The more people that fell for WikiLeaks, the more whistleblowers were trapped, jailed, and killed. But then when Assange defected, uh, that's when they started attacking his reputation or his and his looks. They just didn't want him to be a hero anymore. They just wanted him to look awful. But uh, so 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 they tried to get him out. But they made the story a lot about you know journalism, losing the right to tell the truth because that was that was probably the ultimate goal besides trapping, jailing, and killing whistleblowers. Wiki, CIA's WikiLeaks wanted to make everybody believe that publishing and reporting on national security journalism is illegal worldwide, right? And we all know that Assange's trial was held by City of London Corporation, with Rothschild Intelligence. It's the same people who were. Uh, you know, who were working with the Royals because the Royals took the Freeman Oath to City of London Corporation, the same people who trapped Assange, the same people who run Rothschild Intelligence, who runs CIA, Mossad, MI6, and, and even the Royal Australian Air Force Intelligence. Everything goes back to Rothschild Intelligence and City of London Corporation. Everything. And that's why that's why all of Assange's ties are to Rothschild, Murdoch, and Soros, UK Royals, and CIA. But yeah, he defected. So they gave him the fake wife to go with the fake family and threw him under the bus. Fortunately for him and for the world, we figured it all out. So, you know, we'll see if uh, he's still alive, if he's ever, uh, you know, going to speak in public again. But we know that they don't, they're not going to have that because, see, with Stella Morris as the fake wife, we know he'll never admit it. So basically, Stella uh, has been told that. Um, Somehow or another, he's going to be, you know, he's going to be snuffed or something because she knows he'll never admit she's his wife. It, have, it would have to be a body double, somebody who doesn't look like him at all or act like him. And, and this is why they, they started to say, oh, he's autistic. He was, he's not autistic. And he's so, he had a stroke. He's, he's lost all his memory. He's autistic and he has a stroke. And of course, where's all this news coming from? The fake wife. He's not autistic. He didn't have a stroke. And they start putting pictures out of him, too, that he's bald. 
is not bald. So fortunately, we figured this all out, and time will tell, you know, if he ever gets to speak in public again. But uh, we'll be around, and and it will all play out. So, so when you remember Julian Assange, you don't remember him like all those awful drawings Stella puts out of him. Remember him like this, because this is who he is. This is Julian. 